Hi friends, I'm Megan. Welcome to Church at Home and Merry Christmas. Did you know that Christmas is all about Jesus? Christmas is a special time that we get to celebrate Jesus's birthday. That's why our big idea for today is all about Jesus. It says, I can believe Christmas is all about Jesus. Are you ready to say that with me? Repeat that after me. I can believe Christmas is all about Jesus. <laughs> Great job. When you believe something, that means you know it's true with all of your heart. We can do things together to show we believe Christmas is all about Jesus. Let's start celebrating Jesus together by singing one of my favorite songs. It's called Happy Birthday Jesus. So stand up and let's get ready to dance and sing for Jesus. Birthday. That was so much fun. I had so much fun clapping and saying happy birthday Jesus with you. When we look around at all the beautiful Christmas lights and trees and decorations, we can remember those are all things that help us celebrate Jesus' birthday. We celebrate that Jesus is God's son and he came because he loves you and me so much. There is a very special book God gives us to help us remember this. Do you know what it is? It's this book right here. That's right, it's the Bible. God's special book for us about real people and places from a long time ago. And we get to hear the whole story of Christmas that shows us the person we celebrate, Jesus. So friends, it's time to put on our thinking caps and listening ears and watch today's Bible story about Christmas. The Story of Christmas. This is Mary. Hi! Mary was the mother of Jesus, but before that happened, she lived in the town of Nazareth. She was engaged to marry a man named Joseph. Hello. Hi, Joseph! One day, an angel came to Mary and said, Hi. Ah! That God had chosen Mary. The angel said, Don't be afraid. God loves you and wants to use you in a great way. Uh, me? You will give birth to a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be very great, and he will be the king forever. Uh, hold on. Mary asked, but how can this happen? For she was not married yet and knew that she couldn't have a child until she was married. But the angel told Mary that the Holy Spirit would make her pregnant. Wow. 
so that the baby born will be holy and will be called the Son of God. Wow! The angel reminded her that nothing is impossible with God. Eh, okay, let's do this! So Mary decided to trust God and all that he had planned for her. Joseph didn't understand all this at first, but an angel came and told him to still take Mary as his wife. Yeah, okay. So he did as the angel said. Not long after that, the ruler of the land, Caesar Augustus, wanted to count how many people were in the land. So Caesar Augustus ordered everyone in the land to travel back to their hometowns so that they could be counted. Joseph's hometown was Bethlehem, so Mary and Joseph traveled from Nazareth all the way to Bethlehem. When they arrived in Bethlehem, they looked for a place to stay. No, I'm sorry. Oh, man. But there was no room for them. Uh, what about that? Um, okay. And while they were there, Mary gave birth to Jesus. Whoa. She wrapped him snugly in the strips of cloth uh, that'll work. and laid him in a manger. On the night Jesus was born, there were some shepherds in the field keeping watch over their sheep. <sighs> Suddenly, an angel appeared before them uh, uh -oh. and a bright light shone all around them. Ah! The shepherds were so scared, but the angel said, don't be afraid. Uh, okay. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David. Whoa, what? The angel told the shepherds that they would find Jesus wrapped in strips of cloth, laying in a manger. Okay. Then the angel was joined by many, many other angels, and all of them sang, Glory to God in highest heaven, and peace on earth to those with whom God is pleased. Then the angels returned to heaven. I what just happened? And the shepherds said to each other, Let's go to Bethlehem. Yeah! So they hurried to the village. You say that. And found the baby Jesus laying in the manger. Wow! <laughs> After seeing Jesus, the shepherds told everyone what had happened and what the angel had told them about the baby Jesus. Everyone who heard the shepherd's story were amazed. Mary made sure she remembered all these things and thought about them often. Huh. Then the shepherds went back to their sheep and praised God for all they had seen. The baby was exactly who the angel had told them he was, the savior of the world the Son of God. Bethlehem was part of Judea, an area that was ruled by a king named Herod. King Herod was in Jerusalem when some wise men from eastern lands arrived in Jerusalem asking, Excuse me. Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star as it rose and we have come to worship him. When Herod heard that there was another king born in Judea, he was very upset. Ah! as was everyone else in Jerusalem. Yeah, not you. So Herod called all the important priests and Jews together and asked them where this king was supposed to be born. The Jews knew that their king would eventually come and it was always told to them that the king of the Jews, the savior of the world, would be born in Bethlehem. So they told that to King Herod. Then King Herod thought of a way to trick the wise men. Aha. So he called a private meeting with them and learned from them when the king of the Jews' star first appeared. Oh God! And then King Herod told the wise men, Go to Bethlehem and search carefully for the child. And when you find him, come back and tell me, so that I can go and worship him too. Eh, uh, okay. Hey, on your way. But secretly, Herod wanted to know where the king of the Jews was so he could get rid of him. So the wise men went on their way, and the star they had seen in the east guided them to Bethlehem. It went ahead of them and stopped over the place where Jesus was, and the wise men were filled with joy. Woohoo! They went into the house and saw Mary and Jesus. Hello! Oh, look! Wow! 
and they bowed down and worshipped Jesus. Wait! They gave him special gifts fit for the king that he was, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Then God warned them in a dream to not go home through Jerusalem, where King Herod was, but God told them to go home a different way. So they did. And then an angel appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Get up! The angel told Joseph to go to Egypt with Mary and Jesus because Herod was looking to kill Jesus. That very night, Joseph left for Egypt with Jesus and Mary. They stayed in Egypt until Herod was gone and it was safe for them to go home to Israel. <laughs> when they returned, an angel warned them about the new ruler of Judea, who was Herod's son. This way. So Joseph and his family went to the region of Galilee and found their new home in the town of Nazareth. Look good? Yep. We're taking it where Jesus would grow up and eventually do all the amazing things God had planned for him to do. Wow! Jesus' parents, Mary and Joseph, heard God's plan that their child, Jesus, would be God's son. The shepherds got to see baby Jesus and told everyone about it. And even the wise men believed Jesus was the king who they heard would come. And they went to visit Jesus so they could worship him. So many people in the Bible believed in Jesus, and we can choose to believe in Jesus too. The baby that we saw in the story is real. Jesus was really born, and he is really God's son who came to save us because he loves us. Let's take a look at the Bible verse together that tells us more about who Jesus is. But wait, it's all covered with bubbles. Can you help me pop all the bubbles so we can see our Bible verse? You ready? Let's get popping. Okay, everybody, it's bubble popping time. The bubble on the left, a bubble on the right, bubble up high and bubble down low. There's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, wait. That's not a bubble, that's a bubble! Does everybody know what the bubble is? I don't, but I'm gonna find out when we pop the bubbles! Bubble popping party people! Let's keep it going, yay! Pop them to the left, pop them to the right, pop them over here, and pop them by the side! That's it! Alright, alright! Keep going, yay! We're almost there! We're at the pop! Exactly 23 and a half bubbles left! That's a bubble, that's a bubble, that's a bubble, that's a bubble. Oh, too many bees. <laughs> pop them over here, pop them over there. Pop them on the ground and pop them in the air. Pop them everywhere. Yay! Good job popping the bubbles with me. And look, we can see our Bible verse now. It says, don't be afraid, he said. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David, Luke 2, 10 and 11. This Bible verse tells us who Christmas is all about, Jesus. He is a real person who was born a long time ago. He loves us and came to save us because he is our Savior. Let's stand up and sing a Bible verse together right now. All right, friends, let's bring our sleigh bells together and then we're gonna ring some Christmas bells, ready? And let's clap our hands. Now this verse is from the Christmas story and it's what the angels said to the shepherds. We're gonna sing, Don't Be Afraid. Let's sing together. Don't be afraid, I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. Let's sing out the Savior. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David, Luke 2, 10 and 11. All right, let's clap our hands together. We're going to sing that all over again, and this time I want you guys to sing it out as loud as you can. 
bring great joy to all people. Don't be afraid. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. Let's sing out the Savior. The Savior. singing out that verse. Great job singing and dancing, everyone. Do you remember who Christmas is all about? That's right, it's Jesus. There are so many special things we do at Christmas, and all of those special things remind us that Christmas is all about Jesus. I know a scuppet friend who is learning more about how Christmas is all about Jesus. Friends, it's time to watch Bestos and his friend Savannah in their game show called Jingle Jam. They have some friends who are ready to play another game as they teach us more about how Christmas is all about Jesus. So let's put on our thinking caps whoop, and our listening ears and watch this. Merry Christmas, Rossi the Snow Pancakes! We are going to celebrate with the merriest game show in Scuppertin! Jingle Jam! With your host, Woohoo! He means Savannah, but the rest was right. Welcome to Scuppetons Mary's Game Show, Jingle Jam, where kids just like you compete with grown-ups to win prizes from our Jingle Jam prize tree. Woo! Bestos, tell us about those prizes. Oh yes, you can win the best prizes of all times, like fuzzy mango Christmas suckies, chocolate chip reindeer hats, and a Christmas tree Made of the broccolis, yay! I also put fun prizes in our tree, like Christmas sticky hands, Ooh. and these little squishy Christmas trees, so cute. Our game show is all about fun this Christmas because we want to celebrate Jesus. Did you know that Christmas is all about Jesus? The whole reason we have Christmas trees, hot chocolate, presents, and lights on our houses is for Jesus. That's why our big idea is, I can believe Christmas is all about Jesus. Can you put your hands on your heart? To believe means to know something is true with all your heart. Now put your hands out like a book. The true story of Christmas is from the Bible, God's special book. The story shows us lots of people who believed. Let's put on our thinking caps to learn about them. Jesus' parents on earth, Mary and Joseph, believed what the angel told them about Jesus being God's son. The shepherds in the field believed what the angel said and told everyone that they saw Jesus. And the wise men who traveled from a long way away believed Jesus was the king they heard about before he was born. So this Christmas, we get to make the choice to believe in Jesus too. Jesus is real. The story of his birthday isn't a made up story. It really happened a long time ago. But Jesus' story isn't just for people a long time ago. Jesus wants to be your friend today. So this Christmas, as we're eating yummy treats, decorating our trees, opening gifts, and having fun with family and friends, remember our big idea. I can believe Christmas is all about Jesus. And to help us remember that, let's play a game. Festos, what's our game today? I'm so glad you asked, Savannah. Today, we are playing the best game of all the games, Dig Dash, yay! Our friends will drive a tractor to a present obstacle course to a pit filled with peanut butter. I mean, sands. <laughs> Where there are letters that spell a very special names. If they can spell the name before I finish eating my candy cane, then they get a prize from our Jingle Jam peanut butter! 
I mean tree! Yay! <laughs> Yay! I'm here with our contestants now who are ready for Dig Dash. Can you tell us your names and something you love about Christmas? My name's Kayla and I love reading the Christmas story together. Nice! What's your name? Miller. And what do you love about Christmas? Cookies. Oh, delicious. And what about you guys? My name's Colton and I love eating Nana's Christmas breakfast. Yum. <laughs> what's your name? June. June. And what's your favorite part about Christmas? Opening presents. Oh, that's the best. So remember, today is all about believing in someone really amazing. Our game is gonna tell us exactly who that is. Are you ready? Yes. Oh yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Bestos, count them down. One, tinsel, three, yay! That means go. You guys are a great team. Look at them go. All right. All right, let's go. Oh, there oh, she goes. Go, 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 go. go team, go. She's got this, she's delivering she's the shovels. Yeah. Right, all right, right. we're gonna start digging. All right, Mills. Oh, oh wow. wow. We'll put it on They're the finding, oh, Mills. they found one. Dang oh, it. I think I might have found one. Do you want to help me? Oh, they found another one. They're doing so great. Right. Yeah. You did oh, okay. such a good job. Keep Let's looking, keep it. looking. Oh, teamwork, look at that. They're doing so great. Oh, oh, oh let's on this go. One. I know I'm magic. We're gonna this one. Almost right. done! One more. Wow! They're doing awesome. Go, go! You found the last one, Miller! Alright, push it in, push it, it in, push it in. So push it so great! Oh, Jesus. Now let's spell it together. You ready? J E S U S. That spells Jesus because we can believe that Christmas is all about Jesus. Now you get the special prize from the Jingle Gen Tree. I hope you get my fuzzy mango socks. All right, let's go ahead and grab your prize. You uh, Jim. Great job, June. What'd you, What'd get? you get? Wow, a squishy. Great job! It's a Christmas tree. That is the coolest Christmas tree. All right, Miller, can I see yours? Wow! It's a reindeer. So cool. Okay, I really like those. Friends, there are so many special things to do at Christmas, and all of those special things can remind us that Christmas is all about Jesus. So let's say our big idea one more time together to remember who Christmas is all about. We'll say, I can believe Christmas is all about Jesus. Ready? Let's go. I can believe Christmas is all about Jesus. We love you and Merry Christmas from all of us at Scuppertons Merriest Game Show, Jingle Jam! Wow, do you remember what the letter spelled? That's right, they spelled Jesus. Savannah told us they discovered who Christmas is all about, Jesus. We can believe that Christmas is all about Jesus too. Whatever we do this Christmas, we can remember and believe that Christmas is all about Jesus. So this Christmas, when you're eating yummy treats, decorating your trees, opening gifts, and having fun with family and friends, remember that you can believe Christmas is all about Jesus. Friends, Let's say a prayer together and talk with Jesus right now. Put five fingers here, five fingers there, and put them together for a prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you for loving us. Thank you for being born. I want this Christmas to be extra special because I believe Christmas is all about you. Help all my friends praying with me have a very special Christmas and have fun celebrating you. We love you. Happy birthday, Jesus. Amen. 
friends, I had so much fun with you learning about Christmas and our big idea together. Let's say it together one more time. One, two, three. I can believe Christmas is all about Jesus. Great job. Thanks for watching Church at Home with me. We'll see you next time and Merry Christmas. Oh.